What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and it's here, it's finally here. Google Meet is launching the most anticipated update today, October 8th, 2020, with breakout rooms, Q&A, and even polls. Now, this is a two week rollout, so it could take up to two weeks for it to appear in your domain, and most importantly, you have to have the enterprise package to get these features. They are not available in the free or the education package. So check with your administrator to make sure that you have the correct package if it doesn't appear. But without any further ado, let's look at how to get these three new features up and running. So once you log into your Google Meet and you join in, you will now see that you have in the top right corner activities this cool new icon, when you click on it, it gives you the meeting details that you're used to seeing before. You used to have the people icon and the chat icon, but now the third one is here. You have the activities icon, and you can now choose breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A. Let's start off by checking out breakout rooms. When you click on it, you can choose how many rooms you want. So I could say I want four rooms. I could even change the title of the name if I wanted to. So, you know, say this right here is my blue team. I could change it to whatever I wanted to do. But then the cool part is you will have all the people in your room right here and you could either drag their name to go to these breakout rooms when they appear here or you could just type it in. So if you have people that are in the class and you know you wanna set it up and you don't wanna go through the dragging, you could have your list that you have of different breakout rooms that you're setting up. You type in their name and well, there's no one named Lisa in my group right now. So they have to be in your meet for you to be able to put them into the breakout rooms. And then once you have it all set up, you're gonna click this create button, which will send the invite to your students to go into that breakout room. You don't have to worry, they are not going to be going into anyone else's breakout room. They can only go into the one that you assign them. Now say your breakout room session is done and you want everyone to come back. You don't have to wait for them to manually jump in. You have the ability to pull everyone back to the main room with a single click of a button. Now let's check out the polls where you can find out what others think about a topic. If you click on polls, you can start a poll and you could ask a question. You could type your question like, what is your favorite color? You could then do red or blue. You could do whatever you want to do. Choose as many options as you like and then you will click save if you're not ready to launch it. But if you're ready to launch it right now, you then click launch. But see what happens when you click save? It saves it here for you. Your poll 101, what's your favorite color? It's not sent yet. It's ready for you though. So that you could get set up before your meet is ready or live. And then you click launch and it goes in the chat feature, they have the same right hand side. They'll be able to see this, they'll make the vote and you have the ability to see the results and have the students see the results only if you want to. All you need to do is click the show everyone the results button. You click that and you'll be done. Click end the poll though to make sure that all the results are officially sent to the students. So you could create another poll if you want but I wanna go back and show you the last one Q&A, where people in the meeting can post questions. This allows you to have, say, like different threads in the chat. Before, chat was just a straight shot of what everyone said, but now you can kind of have it grouped by question where people can respond to those questions with answers and it won't get lost in that constant stream of chat. This will be very easy for students to see, you know, what question do I have or all they need. This will be this will be very easy for students to just go and click, ask a question there. They can ask a question and students will be able to respond to the question just the same way that they would in a normal Google Classroom assignment. And that's about it. I can't believe the features are finally here. I've been waiting for them for months. It's going to make teachers' lives so much easier. So if you like this video, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the box below. And if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, share with your friends because it helps out the channel a ton. But most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.